Okay, this video. Hold on. We will discuss the idea of transformation of random variables, and we will explain it with an apple sauce or pudding. The way it works is like this. You have a table that has applesauce spilled on it. The table has a grid, just like you go to a store and you get these um, graphing paper. The whole table has that graphing paper on it, and every point of that table has a number you can say call it 4, 3, 5, 7, 18, 19 and you just spilled a lot of applesauce on, on, on that table now when you spill applesauce not every place is the same amount of applesauce some are higher, some are lower uh, the mountains and valleys so at every box you can say exactly how much applesauce there is. Now, we have another table side by side that also has a grid, also has goes all the way from zero to infinite. Imagine a huge table not so huge, it just if you need big you make it big, if it's enough small then you can keep it small. It has a lot of numbers on it and it goes positive, negative, both sides two dimensional. Okay, now here comes the trick. Here comes the you need some tactic. Somebody summons you, comes over to you he tells you, listen, I want to transfer all the applesauce from table A to table B. But, listen, in what manner I want you to transfer the applesauce? I want that every single point table A has X and Y as we call it usually X is the way horizontal and the Y is the vertical and table B you will call U and V U will be the horizontal and V will be the vertical so I'm telling the guy listen to me right now the law how to transfer the apple source from table A to table B will be as follows each applesauce that's on point x, y should be transferred to u and v but, listen to this u is x plus y and v is x minus y. I'll, don't worry, I'm a very concrete man. I'll give you an example. Let's assume on point 17, 8 on the table A, 17 means x is 17, y is 8. On that point, I'll make a picture like this so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh. Hold on. I'll take a different paper, you can't see so well. 
I'll take a different paper. This, this is a point back to 17.8. It means that the, from the when you look at the graph, the most uh, the the low the lowest point and the left side point is 17.8. Self-understood, it's also 17. It's also 18.8 and also 17.9 and 18.9. That's how this box is called. But I'm just referring to it as 17.8 because that's the lowest from the X and the Y. So we're calling this box 17.8. That point has applesauce in it. I mean, I'm not saying point, I mean that box. Whatever it is, maybe it's a half an ounce of applesauce, a quarter of an ounce, I don't care. Some applesauce is spilled there. I'm telling now a guy, I have a different table that's called the UV table. But this table the, the 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 way this transformation will take place is like this u is x plus y and v will be x minus y that will be the new place so if um it's 17 8 so 17 plus 8 is 25 17 plus 8 is 25 and 17 minus 8 is 9 show you again what happens here we make a box this is the top one the top one has an X and a Y grid the second table has a U and a V. This U and V grid has a certain relation with the X and the Y. What way? The U is X minus Y, and the, sorry, X plus Y, the V is X minus Y. So it means that that drop of applesauce must go right now on 17 plus 8, that's what the U is, and the V will be 17 minus 8 that is 9. That's where this will land. That same box, that same quarter of an ounce apple, so it has to jump over to that point. So, you may ask, many questions not right now. Let us say we have a certain rule that tells us how the apple sauce is spread out on the XY table. How can we interpret that to the UV table? It should we should have a function that tells us on each point of UV is obviously by the UV table seventeen eight won't have that episode because seven, the point 17.8 is generated from a different xy point we'll get to that soon so on the UV table the 17.8 point would not have the same apple source as the 17.8 point of the xy table rather the 17.8 of the UV will correspond to some point we'll get to that soon from x y. So basically, we want to know a formula of. I'm going to give you the information of the point of the U V. You tell me what is the amount of apple sauce on that point. Now. St 
this is a quite a simple example here because the idea is in this case that we are not squeezing the x and the y in any shape or spreading it out we're just shifting what we're doing is essentially we're just taking the applesauce as it is and moving it to a different area you have to understand this we can it, it can be much worse than this this is like it's just considered an easy example what we do now is the the height of the applesauce and the, the way it's spread out will be exactly the same the only thing that will shift is imagine there's a big wind imagine that all the applesauce freezes on the table and somebody moves it upwards, downwards or diagonally that's what's happening here with this shift that's not so bad, we just gotta figure out how it moves diagonally where it lands up in the different table worse than that can be if the applesauce is soft, it's not frozen then you can make a big mess by moving it so besides moving it certain areas get bigger lumps of applesauce and other smaller for example if I would tell you that instead of a v u will be x plus y and v x minus y I'll say u is x plus y squared and v is x plus y cubed oh that will be big big trouble just to illustrate what happens here is you're taking something from x the point 17 8 so 17 plus 8 is 25 25 squared is 625 and so that's going to be on the u grid it's going to be on 625 that drop of applesauce and 17 plus 8 is 25 25 cubed is 625 times 25 uh, 625 times 100 divided by 4 that's 62,500 32,250 16,125 16, 16, that's going to be the y but this time the applesauce will land there in that far-fetched uh, point will be much more smudged. Why? Because we have to spread out this applesauce since the next point that's going to be 17, 18, 8 will be much further away. So we have to ensure that this is spread out all the way till we get to the points, for example, 17 and the next point on the left high hand side and the bottom most point will be 18 8 18 plus 8 is 26 26 squared is a very big number so this applesauce must be spread out from 25 squared to 26 squared That's, so you gotta change a lot of stuff here besides changing where the applesauce will be you also must change the height of the applesauce you have to spread it out more to, to make sure that you, you that you get this one ounce all the way from the 17 8 from the 625 till 26 squared that's uh, over 100 above 25 squared so you must spread it out a lot, not one unit, 100 units anyway, this video was just to get you what I love in math that you must, I keep on saying that you must 
understand things on the most concrete visual level to get the knack of stuff. You must visualize it. So here I use the applesauce. Thank you for listening and enjoy the applesauce.